since we started here on the allotment, we've been dealing with quite some pests and one of them being bunnies. They've been eating all the plants lately and we're just losing all the crops. We lost radishes and some flowers, some salad. So to fix that, we're gonna build a fence today. Hey, and what is going on everybody? Welcome to The Farm Dream. My name is Raymond and today we're gonna build a fence. And it's not only the fence that we're really interested in, it's mainly the mole rat protection. Because the mole rats, they dig in, and same with the bunnies, they dig in under the fence, and that's what we're really trying to fix here. I have a bed of radishes here and pretty much everything has been eaten so far. Uh, we did scare away one bunny, so they are starting to come up again. I don't think it will be fixed anymore. But that's with radishes. We have a lot more things here on the allotment that are just eaten completely. And this is how we're gonna protect it. This is some fine netting to stop the mole rats, the bunnies and the mice. We're gonna dig this in to about 50 centimeters and that way if they're gonna crawl through that they will get stuck in the netting and they can't go any further and they will turn around hopefully and uh, leave our site alone. So we're gonna do that around the entire premises we started to dig a trench here. We want to go about 50 centimeters deep. It's way too hard to start digging this, so we rented a machine to do it for us. So let's get digging. All right, everything is working. I might be screaming because I can't hear myself, but uh, Nicole is moving the uh, wooden planks so we have some support for the wheels and I'm just moving that thing backwards and trying to get it straight. It's working really well so let's continue, go all the way to the end and see how far we can get. Now we've been really going at it over here, but we are hitting some clay soil and it's just jamming up the machine completely. We can't even drive anymore. So we're just trying to clean it up a little bit, see if we can uh, redo it. We're probably not going to go too deep over here anymore. And uh, we'll just see if we can continue over there and see if it gets any better because this is just crazy. It just, it just won't move. And we're done. It's been a hard day yesterday and this morning as well because we needed to dig out this last part over here but we're completely done and now it's time to add in the mesh and then add the beams and then connect the fence to it. So a lot of work to do today. We already started quite late so uh, we don't have that much time so let's just get started and get into it. We finished up one side for today. It was a lot of work, way more work than expected, but the fence is in, or no, the netting is in. Tomorrow when we come back, we're gonna attach the fence to this. We're gonna get the beams in and we'll get the entire site sorted. All right, see you tomorrow. Day three of building the fence, and today is the day that we're gonna put the first, at least we hope, the first fence in. On this side, we're gonna start all the way in the back. We're just filling up the gaps right now. And then we're gonna put in the beams and then attach the fence. We're gonna do 10 meters at first because the fence comes in about 10 meter pieces. Let's try and get this in and see if it works. The first 10 meters is sort of connected, not completely just yet, but we leveled out all the beams and we can now start connecting the fence I just want to say, this looks beautiful. Uh, we're just really happy with this right now. It's working out way better than expected. We're gonna lift the fence a little bit and then put some wood chips underneath so we suppress the weeds, so we don't have all the weeds coming from the side over here, running into our garden. And also because it just looks beautiful. Let's continue, secure everything in place, and now finally go all the way to the end.
So Nicole is rolling the mesh up right now. We just meshed it out the entire length, so we're gonna add that. We're gonna cut it in half and add about 50 centimeters in height once more, and then we'll have a total of one meter above the ground, so nothing can get through anymore. And that's the plan for tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, because for today, it's about enough. We're really tired. We spent all day trying to get this fence in. It's a lot of work, it's hard work, but it's paying off. It looks beautiful. All right, see you guys tomorrow. We've been working really hard the last couple of days to do some more work on the fence. It has been raining, so I didn't film all of it, but to put it in uh, short, we've added a double layer here to the fence. So now we have a protection up to about a meter in height, which is enough for the bunny. So 50 centimeters down, one meter above. We also added some extra support here in the middle to make sure that everything stays straight. We also added some more beams on that side. So the front is also covered now. We just need to add the higher uh, mesh as well on that side and finish all the layers of the fence and then go all the way to the end. And then we have it done. So the plan is to get it done by today. So let's get going. And then after some 30 minutes, it started to rain. We decided to stop the camera so we don't break that, but continue with the fence. So this part is done all the way to the front gate. We only need to do the last bit over there. And the last piece of fence is going to be on the front here. We already put up the netting, the mesh for the mole rats and for the rabbits uh, because we wanted to make sure that we keep them out as much as we can. So far, we haven't seen any more scratching on the bat. So that's a good sign. Now, I'm gonna continue and get this done today because I wanna finish this fence and get on with other jobs on the allotment because I need to plant a lot of plants. All right, let's go. And it's done about two hours of work but the entire part over here is now done as well and that means the fence is in and we are actually uh, done with this video but before we stop there's a few things that I want to do in the future to this fence one thing being wood chips to the sides here I, I did a poll on Instagram uh, asking if we should or shouldn't put wood chips in yes the answer was yes big time so we're gonna put wood chips on either side of the fence to make sure that we keep out some weeds and also that it just looks a little bit more beautiful. Um, also, we're gonna put a lot of plants here, mainly uh, ple peas, sweet peas, uh, letterus, I think it's called. Nicole already planted quite a few of them on the other side of the fence. So it's a lot of things that we still need to do on the fence, secure everything correctly, make sure that the mesh doesn't go anywhere, but I'm really happy with the result. All right, that was like four or five days of work. I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like, consider subscribing, but most of all, don't forget to lift the foundry.